Hi everyone, how are you? Today we are going to see about the life of Manuela Vila Camacho. But who was Manuela Vila Camacho? Well, he was born in 1897 in the town of Tezitlán, Puebla. He was the third of the nine children of Manuela Vila Castillo. He attended his primary school in Liceo Teciteco. And with the beginning of the revolution, the family was forced to leave their hometown to settle in Puebla. Where their economic problems worsened, finally they settled in Mexico City and Manuel continued his studies at the National Preparatory School. Being a teenager, Manuel joined the revolution to fight against the government of Victoriano Huerta. And in just six years, Manuel Avila Camacho reached the rank of coronel. Cardenas and Avila Camacho became good friends. And during the Cristero War, between 1927 to 1928, Avila Camacho fought the Catholics in Michoacán and Jalisco, while Maximino also fought against the Cristero. But his attitude was just the opposite of his brother. He born villages. Manuel Avila Camacho reached the rank of brigadier general after fighting the Escobarista rebels in 1929 under the command of Lázaro Cárdenas. In 1932, he was appointed military chef of Tabasco. And during the government of Lázaro Cárdenas, he held the position of the Secretary of War and Naval, while his brother Maximino became the governor of Puebla in 1937, where he exercised power, his customary arrogance, and with a heavy hand at the 1940 presidential elections approach two possible TRM candidates emerged as possible successors to Lázaro Cárdenas. The first was Francisco Mujica, mentor of Cárdenas, and the second was the conciliator Avila Camacho, and against all predictions, President Cárdenas hoped for Avila Camacho. Despite his little experience in political sphere, Maximino didn't like the Manuel's appointment very well. He considered him weak, easily manipulated by Cardenas and believed he had more rights than him just because he was his older brother. Since his campaign, Avila Camacho began to soften the Cardenista radicalism. The elections were held with violence against the numerous followers of the opposition candidate Juan Andrew Almazan, who undoubtedly resorted to fraud. Declare winner Manuel Avila Camacho. Manuel Avila Camacho came to the president on December 1 in 1940. He declared he was a believer and wanted to fulfill his mother's last wish that he and his brother didn't follow the church. In his cabinet, there were various factions, both cardinal and revolutionary, and Avila Camachistas. This quickly took care of reconciling between the parties and reconciling the country of a major conflict, the Second World War. On May 13 and 40, 1942, German submarines sank the Mexican old ships Potrero de Llano and Faja de Oro. Eight days later, Mexico declared war on the power, appealing to national unity in this circumstance. Avila Camacho gathered before a crowd of the balcony of the National Palace to all the living former presidents. The economic policy of Avila Camacho, in accordance with that of the other country, provide raw material for the production of the war materials and receive machinery, technology, and credits in exchange, in which the country industrialization was established. During the years of Manuel's government, the Mexican film industry grew. The IMSS, the, cardi the Cardiology Hospital, and the Children's Hospital, also the Economic Culture Fund, were found. The road network and also the postals 
and Telegraph were found. When the next elections were approaching, Maximino, his brother, Secretary of Communication, believed that his time had come, without realizing that Manuel Aleman has already beaten him. At a banquet, he threatened to assassinate, but he couldn't do anything. After he died poisoned in 1945, Manuel Avila Camacho gave the president to Miguel Aleman Valdez in 1946, retired from political life and led a social life accompanied by his wife. Finally, he died in October of 1955. This is all. Thank you for your attention.